Hello, I'm Clint Suggs with 5-Minute Golf Lessons. I'm here to give you some golf tips. Today, we're going to look at the sand shot. First, let's talk about clubs. I've got a 60 degree lob wedge. I use this when I've got a very tight pin and not that much green to work with. Next, I've got a 56 degree sand wedge. I use this when the pin is further back and I've got a lot of green to work with. Now, let's talk about lining up. With this shot, I'm going to use my 60 degree lob wedge to get over this bank and land it on the edge of the green and roll it close to the hole. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find a spot on the green where we're going to try to land it. Next, we're going to use the club head to line up with that spot on the green. Now, we don't want to have a closed club face or the club's going to dig. Now you can kind of see a nice smooth digging motion. What we want is the club face to be open at a dress. So we have a splat. You can kind of tell the difference between the smooth and the splat. So now that we have an open club face at a dress, we're going to have an open stance as well. Our stance is going to be just to the left of the flag. To give you a better idea of where my target is, I'm going to draw a line. Okay. Now I'm going to line up my club face with that line. After I have the club face to the line, I'm going to op have an open stance. As you can see, the two lines are not parallel. This next line is the line of the club path. As you can see, those two lines are parallel. Now I'm going to swing with these two parallel lines. So when my club head comes through, it's going to be going right along that line. So that's how we line up. Next, we're going to talk about the swing. Now the distance we have to the hole will determine how far we swing the club back. If we have a short distance, we swing back just a short amount. If we have a farther distance, we swing further back. From the top of the swing, the hands and the club head come down and are here at impact. Some common mistakes that you see in beginners are the hands being too far forward causing you to top the ball or hit it really thin. Another common mistake is the hands being too far back causing a chunk back here or a skull. To review, first we're going to find a spot on the green where we're going to land it. Next we're going to get the club head lined up with that spot, feet slightly open. Now we're going to swing on our foot line. Now here's the shot. 